My name's Clark Seaborn. I uh, started the Calgary Flying Club by getting my uh, private pilot's license in the summer of 1967. That was 50 years ago. Uh, the Flying Club was based at Calgary Airport at that time, and uh, we used old Super Homer radios to to uh, deal with the traffic and the uh, and the tower, and and uh, it was a fairly busy place. But I uh, never graduated beyond a private pilot's license. Somehow my passion seemed to be in old antique airplanes. And in the last 50 years, I've, I've acquired, I guess, five wreckages which have come home. And this is my latest. Uh, ironically, it's a Gypsy Moth, which was the first airplane used by the Calgary Flying Club in 1928. And uh, the wreckage followed me home from a, from a site in BC. And uh, it took 10 years to make this little airplane. And I wish to point out this, this picture of, uh, taken at the Calgary Renfrew Airport in uh, 19, uh, September 1929. The, uh, the first gypsy moths the Calgary Flying Club had were in this picture. And uh, there's a total of six gypsy moths out of 11 airplanes in this picture. So it was a very common airplane in those days. I think now this is the only currently registered and flying gypsy moth in Canada. One of the perils of flying this, of course, is the visibility, or rather the lack of visibility. It's flown from solo from the back seat, and uh, when you're in the back seat, you're staring through two oil-spattered windshields and uh, the front of a, an engine that sticks up. And when it's in the tail-down position, uh, such as the landing roll or takeoff, uh, you can't see much. Uh, you have to cast each eyeball either side of the airplane to uh, to sort of catch the edges of the runway. In the days that the Calgary Flying Club operated these, in, in the uh, late 1920s and through the 30s, they of course had the, the half mile square of Renfrew Field, which uh, gave them all sorts of room to do proper ground loops and and uh, you could land into wind and then you'd get flying club members to grab a hold of wingtips to, uh, to guide you back into the uh, tie down area. Airplanes in these days did not have steering uh, other than a blast of wind on the rudder and uh, they did not have a tail wheel and uh, they had a tail skid which uh, could only be used on grass. And uh, so this is the tail skid down here and when you're pulling it back into the hangar you must uh, put a tail skid dolly on it and lift it up in order to pull it back.
this and bed in the flying machine. They go up to the up, up, they go down to the up, down. Those magnificent men, those magnificent men. 